Welcoming to the show David Russ Smith, who is uh, the game creator of something called Bibs, and it's a really interesting concept, pretty much by kids for kids. Exactly. Uh, with a, a great charitable aspect, uh, helping beyond the orphanage. Yeah. Uh, so uh, for, first and foremost, tell me about Bibs and kind of the company and you getting into sure, this sure. business. Um, so Bibs is really a video game for good. So all the artwork in the game has been done by 150 kids from around the world. So kids in Ethiopia, Australia, Canada, and the US, age six to 16. Um, and they've done yeah, the character animations, the level designs, everything. And um, we run workshops where we teach the kids a little bit about uh, this cause we're working towards, and then they do artwork for the game. So it's a lot of fun. The, the cause is beyond the orphanage. Yeah. Uh, and this is something you, that you really wanted to be able to educate and, be, and get the kids involved because they're yeah. the ones that are best for change. Exactly, yeah. Um, I've sort of given up on trying to change adults, um, but kids have a lot of potential. If you tell kids that their peers uh, around the world that don't have access to food, health, let alone laptops and video games, um, they get very upset and they get angry and they want to do something about it, but they're not given an opportunity. So um, by offering these workshops, we're hoping to provide a, a way of channeling that energy. So okay, so how does it? How does the game actually work? Is there an educational aspect to sure. it? I know that there's the drawings that the kids actually get to, yeah. to kind of create it, but kind of take us through. Sure. So. Um, there's six or seven different characters you get to choose from, and there's actually about 37 different levels done by kids around the world. Um, and before each level, there's a quiz question. These questions are about geography, international development, millennium development goals, uh, gender equality. And if the kids get them right, they get new levels, power-ups, um, all those good things. So this one is Malawi is a country, city, planet, or animal. So then kids, different age, will different age groups have different levels? Or yeah, this is, so okay. there's 8 to 13 or 13 plus, okay. um, and that changes the difficulty of the questions. So I'll let you go ahead and take a guess on this one. I got the first one. I, I, I you want got to the say, first one right. Yeah. I think you can do it again. Um, I, I want to say it's a country? No, it's you, a city. Or was I right the first time? You are right the first time. Okay. Always go with the first, okay. first guess. So if you... Oh, I have to press you this. Gotta, you gotta, All right, so what am I pressing? The middle one? The green one there. Gotcha. So you get it right, so you're going to jump higher at the beginning of the game. Nice. Good to know that I'm starting like that. Yeah. These drawings here are actually, can we show? Because they come. Yeah, sure. So. So these are actually done in a workshop, these drawings that we see yeah, on the table. So these drawings were all done um, by kids age sort of 8 to 12 in Ottawa in the East End. And uh, they wanted to do a Titanic themed level. Mm -hmm. So they first planned it out on one piece of paper. So there's your the, Titanic. Yeah, you got your okay. smokestacks and everything. Um, and then they broke up each part of the level so that each of the members could do a different part of it. So they're great at doing teamwork and everything. Um, so one kid wanted to do piranhas for under the Titanic. We had the SOS, some night stars in a moon, uh, icebergs, smokestacks. And then all that, I take it away, scan it, and pop it into the game. And so there you have it. There are your smokestacks. You've got everything ready to go. Yeah. And the Titanic just sinks in. Do the kids out. love seeing it they though? Love that it they go so much. the process of going from this and then yeah. seeing it. Yeah, they, they get so excited. And uh, the best thing is the workshops don't require any tech skills, so the kids just come along and draw on paper and let their imagination run wild. Um, and then it's up to me to actually make it work and put it in the game and make it into an actual game. For very quickly, if you can, beyond the orphanage, give us a, a run yeah. out what this charity is. Sure. So they work with orphans in Ethiopia, uh, age 13 and up, who are too old to get into an orphanage, which by Canadian standards we can hardly fathom. Um, and they provide sort of full support, education, food, shelter, child psychologists, um, everything for these kids. So they do really great work. Um, they're pretty small, which is sort of good because it means the money we raise can have a more significant impact. Um, and kids in their program have actually put artwork into the game as well. They've actually been able to contribute to, yeah. to something as well. Uh, BeyondTheOrphanage.org is the website for the charity. Uh, and this is BibsGame.com. So yeah. www.bibsgame.com. And I want to let you know about the upcoming workshop, which is yeah. happening tomorrow night, uh, ages 6 to 13, yep. that you're looking for. And where's the workshop and how do people get involved? At the Linden Lee Community Center. Um, if they go to our website, they can register. They can find all the details. It's $15, and 100% of that is donated to Beyond the Orphanage. Awesome. I'm sorry you've given up on the adults, but it's great yeah. to know that you are encouraging and getting into uh, the, the kids at the grassroots level. Uh, Bibs.com, B-I-B-Z.com, uh, Bibsgame.com. Bibsgame.com. Thanks. Pleasure yeah. to meet you.